Welcome to Clearview Arena here at the RMU Island Sports Center in Pittsburgh. Garrow Von Dane and Bob Kennedy with the call today for Robert Morris. <clears throat> 20th ranked Colonials hosting Niagara here. And the lift shot goes over the shoulder of Wilson and in, and Robert Morris strikes first. It's 1-0, Colonials in front, right off the draw. Yeah, we talked about the faceoffs in the pregame, and they win the draw there. Let's see if we can get it on the replay. I think it was Nick Jenny, the captain. And you see Abair taking the draw off the near boards. Yeah, just simple play, got it back to the point, and Jenny just wristed it. And See if Wilson could see this puck. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a screen and just high. And here comes Jenny weaving through traffic. Now throws it behind him. And Hernandez will take over for RMU. Hernandez spins around behind the net. Jenny wants it, instead it comes to Adamo. Shoots and scores at Adamo. Beats Wilson over the right shoulder. He had Wilson moving left. Shot the other direction, and it's a power play goal. The Colonials in front, two to nothing. Wow, good entry there. Now Stanley carries it in. Drops it back for Summer. It was behind him, though, and now a chance here. Colonials carry it in. Hebert on the near side. In front, and Adamo pokes it into the net, and it's three nothing. Robert Morris back to back goals for Justin Adamo. The Colonials are rolling now. Oh, and it's Niagara turning over the puck in the neutral zone, and it's Bear turning on the Jets. And right Bouncing puck, and the Colonials take it away. Here comes Robert Moore. Chance here, down the wing, it's Hardikainen, and he shoots and scores. Santeri Hardikainen makes it 4 nothing. Robert Morris, a shorthanded goal. And the Colonials are fired up here in Pittsburgh. Well, Hart Akinen showing that little bit of that Finnish style <laughs> as he was going side to side. And Niagara again, it, they've got scoring capability and they put it one in here and it's Billings. And Puck was drawn behind the net. Billings was left alone in front of the cage. And buries it past Colonial Netminder West and the Eagles right after the penalty expired. Get the goal and make it four to one. Fought for on the far boards, comes up to the point. Right side, Schaefer chasing after it. He's gonna look, wind up, fire it, score through his screen. I don't think there was any way for Corson to see that puck with the screen in front of him. And the Colonials get the goal right back. It's five to one, Robert Morris. The defenseman Schaefer coming, coming down from his right point position, taking that puck off the board. 17.30 to go here to scrum after the faceoff right in front of Corson. And he goes chop that puck out of harm's way for the moment, but what the feed from Lawson in front, and it's tapped in. Colonials score again. It's Nick Lalonde with his first of the game, and it's 6 1. Robert Morris racing away from the Purple Eagles. Yeah, we got a good vantage point from up here, and it was Lawson on the left. Staying on is Schaefer and also McKelly in a wraparound attempt, save made by West. Brandt keeps it in, though. Bouncing puck shot, save made, and the rebound score. And the Eagles do get a power play goal. I think that was Namofsky who got that one. Yeah. Ryan Namofsky, the second line center from Shelby Township, Michigan. Yeah, the Eagles wouldn't be denied there as they kept coming and a couple of rebounds there came out.